Johnny Kent Show, John Cobell and Ken Shambo. All right, after 5.30, we will have another guest on the show who's got more information about the deadly shooting in Irwindale this afternoon at the offices of SoCal Edison. Three people killed, including the gunman. Two more injured. We'll bring it to you coming up after 5.30. Our best understanding is it might have something to do with no bonuses. No Christmas bonus. Christmas bonus did not. Holiday bonus. May have been the motivation. Kwanzaa bonus. Nobody uh, gets Christmas bonuses anymore. No. It's not in the private sector. A lot of people, I mean, this is a public utility. I don't know what the deal is, but. I can't remember. Probably more than 10 years ago, the last time we had a Christmas bonus here. We did? Yeah, I didn't a long, get it. You long got time. my money? I always get your money. I don't remember getting a Christmas bonus here at, well, at it, KFI. Yeah, a long time ago. 1990s. Old building. Different management. Different company. Now they have to call it a holiday bonus. I think I got screwed on that one. Yeah. All right, we're playing more. Won't be the, wasn't the first time. More stuff from yesterday's high-speed rail hearing in Washington, D.C. Stuff we didn't play yesterday, and it's good stuff. From a congressman we'd never heard of, Devin Nunes from Tulare County, way up there, Bakerfield, Fresno area. Man, makes and a lot of sense, though. He's not happy with the high-speed rail. I like the way one, somebody described it as a mule on roller skates. <laughs> the high-speed rail idea? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, he's delving to the heart of this, right, in these next two clips. And we've told you about this, and this is the truth. None of these people really care about high-speed rail. The whole idea is, is absurd. What they want, though, is a huge stream of money. They don't care if it's tax money, private investor money, state bond money, federal stimulus money. What they want to do is stick their face in the trough <laughs> and have it wash over their bodies. And hand out money to their friends. And, yeah, and the biggest scam is to be a public relations consultant and know somebody connected to this high-speed rail authority. Then you get six, maybe seven figures of income, and you, you don't have to do a damn thing, and it doesn't matter if the train is ever built. And this is what this whole fiasco is about. Let's play clip number three. Since 2007, no fewer than 20 PR firms have been hired and have spent multi-million dollars on TV, radio, and print campaign to convince Californians to support high-speed rail. Moreover, the high-speed rail authority has bankrolled a vast array of political consultants to curry favor with elected officials. If high-speed rail were widely supported, a multi-million dollar PR campaign would not be necessary. Twenty public relations companies were paid to lie to you about high-speed rail. Yeah, this is the outreach program. This is the 20 companies that told you it was going to cost $43 billion when the real price tag is at minimum. This is what, they'll, what they admit to, $180 billion. $180 billion instead of $43 billion. That is, that is, that is the dimensions of the big lie and the big lie was spread by 20 public relations companies, and you fell for it. Apparently, they uh, spent on two public relations firms for the Los Angeles to San Diego leg. Do you know that that leg is the last to be completed, and it's like over 20 years away? And they're already spending money on PR outreach? Yeah, I and think... And what do they do? They Apparently, they hand out flyers, and they hold community meetings. Well, they're hoping to connect L.A. to San Francisco. Here, here's a flyer. Enjoy high-speed rail. And somebody gets paid. Somebody gets paid money to hand out the flyer. They they rack up six and seven. seven oh, to write the up. flyer. Yeah, to write and hand it out. But but you're talking about the San Diego leg. Remember, they're going to spend 117 billion to uh, build the network out by 2033, 20 years from now. Then there's two legs still missing, which is why it has to go to 180 billion. One of the legs goes to Sacramento. The other leg goes down to San Diego. So San Diego is probably not going to be built until after 2040. Let's say minimum 30 years. 30 years. We'll still be doing the show. We will. But uh, many people will be dead. And that's that thing sad. still won't be. It is sad. But you, you, you that, that, that this project will outlive you and maybe your children. All right, let's go to the next clip. $800 million have been spent on studies, public relations, and staff salaries. Not a single inch of track has been laid. Here's an important point. The chief of this rail authority makes $375,000 a year. By way of comparison, the president and CEO of Amtrak, who has the responsibility for our entire country's passenger rail system, rail that actually exists today, (laughs) is paid $350,000. 
<laughs> so the, the chief executive you of see? the California High Speed Rail, which doesn't exist, is paid more than the Amtrak top, top executive. Amtrak goes through uh, 48 states, right? Amtrak goes coast to coast, border to border. 350000 to run Amtrak. 375000 to run what? Nothing exists. There's no rail. The guy's get, Who is the name of the guy getting $375,000? Because he ought to be chased out of the state. How do you spend $800 million on studies, salaries, consultants, public relations tax? $800 million? $800 million, and they're going to tell you that, oh, you know, the, the tuition has to be raised at, raised at UC and Cal State. Eight hundred million dollars, and they're going to say, you know, we got to raise the sales tax and the income tax. Uh, you know, we don't have the money for the disabled and the poor anymore. Eight hundred million dollars over fifteen years. Eight hundred million. Where did that money come from? Is that coming from the taxpayers? What is that? Private donations? That's got to be public money of some kind. His name is Roloff Van Ark. Oh, that guy. That's right. He was named chief executive of the High Speed Rail effective June one of twenty ten. Roloff Van Ark, Roloff, $375,000, and by now, since they're starting to borrow the money, this is our tax money. This is our tax money. Oh, he's got an MBA from a university in Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. Which I wonder is, what he sounds like. We didn't get any audio. He was there yesterday. Yeah. Well, you, this, this, Roloff. But yeah, well, you, you have sounds a, you like have, a Dutchman. Yeah, you got a guy from uh, South Africa. I'm sure he has an interesting accent. Uh, you know, it reminds yeah, me I of all those. That. Yeah, it's like those questionable plastic surgeons out of Beverly Hills. With their strange Middle Eastern accents and mustaches. You know what this guy is about, right? You know what this guy's about. Roloff Van Ark. Yeah, 58 hey, years old. Hey, at 58, if you can scam $375,000 out of the taxpayers to run a uh, a rail line that doesn't exist, why not go for it? So it's, gr- it's great work. Oh, you see, now he succeeded Mehdi Morshed, who we quoted yesterday from yeah. the LA Times story, yeah. who retired after serving as executive director from... 1998 to 2010. Was he making 375 well, well, every year? But we didn't have high speed rail. <laughs> well, what was his salary? How many millions did he make? No wonder he retired. He retired right now just as all the poop is hitting the fan. He's out of there. He made his billions. Pushing, pushing this nonsense. Mike Veline's running around with a hundred thousand dollars in his back pocket. This has got to stop. I'm going to look into this. Where are the Occupy people? This is what you ought to be occupying. Based on what Congressman Nunes said, apparently, this whole high-speed rail thing has been around since the late 90s. They were working all those yeah. years to get the ballot initiative passed, but apparently they've had this around. And how many politically connected PR hacks and consultants and uh, executives doing their phony baloney studies, how many of them have walked off with millions and millions of dollars? Roll of Van Ark. Roll of Van Ark. Occupy his office. He built an ark full of money. And he pushed off. All right, when we come back, we'll turn our attention to the deadly shooting today at the SoCal Edison offices.